Hello and good morning, you guys. How are you doing? All right. Yeah. Great. How are, you? How are you? Man, this is such a great gift to American music fans for you to be in Las Vegas for a residency. This, oh my God, I can't wait to be a part of this. Yeah, we're very excited to return to Vegas in April 24 at the Bach Theater at Planet Hollywood. Because I believe so much in the business of music, are, are is there any special merchandise that's going to be available for fans? Because if you go to Vegas and we see you in concert during this residency, it's like, man, I got to take home more than just a T-shirt. Yeah, when you take a look at the poster right behind us, I think that's so cool because it's featuring Love It First Thing, because we will be celebrating 40 years of the iconic Love It First Thing album, performing the entire album and lots of other classic hits. And I'm sure there will be merchandise out there as well, because this uh, artwork is so pretty cool. Helmut Newton, the famous photographer back in the mid eighties, when this album came out, uh, it was 84. And so this photo session was with a legendary uh, Helmut Newton, and so this is a very special artwork. When you put a stage like this together in Vegas, and you don't have to take it down to hurry up and rush to the next city, I mean, that becomes a unique presence, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It means like uh, the audience is coming to us, and we don't have to travel. Um, you know, we play nine shows in the month of April. Last show will be May 3rd, and... Uh, it's fantastic, you know, it gives us some time to relax and enjoy Vegas and also, you know, stay in one place. And uh, that's make, that makes it very special. I was going to ask you about that, if you guys get out to enjoy life, because when you're in one place, I mean, you've got all those hours where you're not up on that stage and it's like, OK, so what are we going to do with our time? I mean, Las Vegas is a great place to spend time. I mean, you know, when you can't spend time in Las Vegas, well, where else you want to spend time? I mean, it was great last time. I remember it's so great. There's so many things you get. Uh, so many shows. Uh, yeah, on, but all shows there, of course, yes. And, uh, you know, that's fantastic. You have uh, 24 hours, you have... Uh, Entertainment. Exactly. Wouldn't you say that now would be the best time to get these tickets? Because, I mean, you know every show is going to be a sellout, and people can't just suddenly show up at in Vegas going, oh, I'm going to go see the Scorpions tonight. Nah, you should have been doing your homework. Yeah, I think you should pick your tickets up pretty fast, you know, because, uh, like I said, celebrating Love It First Thing, we will play songs we haven't played for a long time, but also songs we never played at all. For example, like Crossfire. So from Bad Boys to Rock You Like a Hurricane, Leaving You to Big City, from Crossfire to Still Loving You, there are many, many songs. And so I think you should pick up your tickets real quick. So when you do a song like Crossfire and you haven't played it in, in a live performance, what is it like to re, kind of, you got to retrain yourself how to play that song. Does it change in any way? I mean, we will find out. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's very exciting. So it's, you know, when you never played the song, even when this album was one of the most successful uh, album by selling, but, you know, you have to go uh, and uh, rehearse. It will be a challenge for Mickey D, you know, because, <laughs> you know, this song is very much focused on the drums. You know, it starts with the marching drums yeah. kind of thing. And, uh, so it's it's a pretty... A uh, strong song, also with a very strong meaning, and uh, so we're we're excited to play this song and have this song in, in the set list, you know. But like Udo said, we have to figure out how it goes. <laughs> And you know how we crazy Americans are. We're, when we go out to Vegas for your residency, we're not going to stay for one show. We're going to try to grab two or three different shows. Will the set list change at all? Um, maybe, yeah. but, uh, you know, we focus at the moment on uh, uh, getting all the songs from Love It First Thing together. Yeah. As uh, Klaus just mentioned, uh, you know, we haven't played some of them at all so far, but we will rehearse and we will be ready. But, um, you know, there's so many other songs, so we could actually change the set list. Uh, every single time you play a show. Yeah. See, I love the fact that you're playing the deeper cuts because 40 years ago, that's what it was all about. It was all about getting that full album and experiencing the album. And then, and so to, to be able to give us these songs, you're going to make a lot of grown men cry is what you're going to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, 
It is very exciting to go all the way back. I mean, we play all the other songs and other hits as well, you know, but uh, this time we really take care for this residency to give our fans something very special, you know, and make it special, not only for the fans, but for ourselves, well, you know. I hope so, Klaus, 40 years. Yeah, it's, it's 40 the years. Of, yeah. of this album. Yeah, it's a 40 years uh, uh, celebration of Love It First Thing. And since this album, I think, was the most successful record throughout the 80s and uh, i think in total you know in in america this this album was double platinum you know and uh, to celebrate this after 40 years it's something pretty cool and uh, and the songs are great i mean yeah are there hanging hanger songs do you always have on albums maybe one or two songs where you go mm, okay you know, but this is, album is really packed with big, big songs, Bad Boys Running Wild, Big City Nights, uh, songs that made it into our eternal set list, you know. We play those songs forever, you know, but so the focus is here to play songs we haven't played and uh, working right into our set and make sure it works and gives a set a great dynamic. And so, like you said, like people go, wow, <laughs> never experienced to see the Scorpions playing this song live, you know, and uh, that's what it's all about. We want to bring the excitement to the entertainment capital of the world, you know, so that means you have to work twice as hard to get something very special. Also with the content on the media, on the LED walls, you know, you have to think about what can we do, what we haven't done before. Like the last residency was very much focused on the Vegas theme, you know, and we still have that you know, because it's fits so works so perfect and gives also Mickey D, a slot machine kind of solo uh, during the show which is so cool and i think we're going to leave that in the show but there are other contents for songs we haven't played with as many times as i've seen you guys perform here in charlotte the one thing that i've always loved about watching you the way that you guys look like you're having the greatest time on that stage which then transfers that energy out to us and then we give it back to you by singing along and cheering even louder than what we did the last time we saw you yeah, it's all about the fans, you know, and especially our U.S. fans. They're always crazy. They're a loud and wide <laughs> audience, and that's like it, you know. We want our fans to go crazy, and uh, we have many songs for sing-alongs, you know, and so it's you can do a lot of things, a million things, uh, talking about... Uh, uh, putting a great show up on stage, you know, but the most important thing is you put a smile on your face, you know, you make contact with the people in the audience and you s have them sing along, you know, so we want them to leave the theater going like, wow, yeah. this was a magic night. It was fantastic. God, and to do it right there in Vegas, because once I see you in concert, of course, I'm going to go over there and play with all the other toys that Vegas offers. Yes, I, I mean, we just talked about it. We said this uh, artwork uh, will shine on the Vegas trip, you know, <laughs> on those big billboards, you know, because it looks so cool. And this this will be a great one, you know. And uh, yeah, we're proud to bring this back on stage, this entire album. What do you expect to learn from this journey back into Vegas? Because every musician has a journey and there's always something new that you experience. Well, we haven't been at the Hoover Dam for a long time. <laughs> yes. There you go. You know. <laughs> and I've heard that the Hoover Dam is very full nowadays because of all the rain we've had. To take a helicopter and go to the, to the uh, out there, out of the city, you know, and there are, there are a million things to do, but I think... It would be really exciting to figure out who else is in town and when we have one or off days, one or two off days, you know, to to see uh, other artists, what they do. I, I remember, Rudolf, for me, we went to see Carlos Santana uh, wow. at the House of Blues and he invited us on stage to jam with Carlos, you know, and we did Rock You Like a Hurricane together with Carlos Santana. Can you imagine that? It was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> of his songs oh. was really really exciting moment because Carlos is a great guitar player and a great great person 
Yep. Wow. All right. So where can people go to land themselves some tickets and get them way ahead of schedule? Because you got to get them now. You can't get, you can't be late to this show. Exactly. And I guess you guys know where you get your tickets first. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait to catch you guys live in Vegas during this residency because it's going to be one of those rock and roll experiences that people are going to talk about forever. Yeah, great. Uh, you come in backstage and we have a drink together. I, w- I want to sing. I want to sing. Rock you, rock you like a hurricane backstage with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Well, you guys be brilliant today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.